to sign up for Medicare. If you are getting ready to turn 65, right now you're probably being absolutely flooded with junk mail. But in addition to that, you are hopefully gathering your information and learning more about how to get enrolled in Medicare and what all of your options are. And that is exactly what I am going to be talking about today. Hi, my name is Joe Hutchison and I am an independent broker and Medicare advisor with Founders Life and Health. I am based here in beautiful St. Louis, Missouri, but I am licensed and work with clients all over the country. And these videos all come from comments and questions that I get from clients. Um, one of the biggest questions I get from most of my new clients turning 65 is how the heck do I enroll in Medicare? So that is what I am talking about today. First question, do I actively have to enroll or sign up for Medicare? And the answer is sometimes. It is not a clear yes or no as with most things in Medicare. So if you are turning 65 and you are planning on taking Social Security benefits, then the answer is no. You do not have to actively sign up for Medicare. Once you start taking your Social, social Security benefits, that is going to automatically kick Medicare into place. So Social Security and Medicare are going to go hand in hand. On the other hand, if you're turning 65 and you are not going to be taking Social Security benefits, say you are planning on working a little bit longer, but you don't want to use your employer's group coverage, then you will have to actively enroll in Parts A and Parts B if you choose to take Part B as well. So how do we go about doing that? That is question number two. Second question, how do I go about actively enrolling in Medicare. Well, first let's talk about the timing on that. If you're turning 65, you will have an initial enrollment period, an IEP, and that initial enrollment period runs for seven months. It is three months before you turn 65. It's the month of your birthday and it is three months after you turn 65. So that is the time in which you are supposed to enroll in Medicare. So you're turning 65 and we are within our seven month window. How the heck do I go about getting my Medicare enrolled? There are three ways to go about doing it. The first way I would not recommend, but if you really feel like you want to spend some time at the Social Security office, then you can do it. The first way is to go on down to your Social Security Administration and get your number and stand in line and talk to somebody. You can also call ahead in advance and set up an appointment. So um, going down in person and doing it for some people, they just would much rather talk to a human face to face and that's definitely an option. The second way to go ahead and enroll is to call Social Security. I will put their phone number right here and I will also put it in the description of the video down below so that you've got that information. You can call, you can talk to a live human being. I am told sometimes the wait times on the phone are pretty long and involved too. So keep that in mind before you call. And the third way to enroll is to enroll online. I will put a link to that as well down below and the, um, the website will be right here for you. So go ahead and get online, you can enroll. It's actually a pretty easy process. It walks you through it. There's not everything, not, not everything about the uh, medicare.gov site is easy and manageable, but in general, the online enrollment process is pretty easy. Question number three. Now I have enrolled in Medicare, when do my benefits kick in? So again, as with all things Medicare, there's all kinds of answers to that. If you enrolled before you turn 65, then your benefits will start on the first day of the month of your birthday. If you happen to be born on the first day of the month, then your benefits will start the first day of the month prior to your birth month. If you waited until after you're 65 to enroll, then your your benefits are going to delay. Basically, they'll delay it by a month. If you waited one month after you turned 65 to enroll, then your benefits aren't gonna kick in until two months after that. If you waited three months after you 
or supposed to enroll, then it will be that third month. So um, keep that in mind. If you are turning 65 and you are planning on enrolling, you'll want to go ahead and do that before you turn 65. It's, it's a lot, um, everything happens a lot faster if you do it before you turn 65. And question number four, you have now enrolled, you've gone through the process, you did what you were supposed to do and you did it all within a timely manner. So now what, now what do you do? Um, there are two things that you should do as a matter of fact. The first thing you should do is keep an eye out for that red, white, and blue card that's coming in the mail. Your Medicare card is gonna have all kinds of valuable information on it that you're going to need for other services. And the card, when it comes in the mail, is kind of in an unassuming paper thing. The card itself is paper, so it can easily get pitched. It gets pitched by, I've had it happen to several clients. So after you're enrolled, keep your eye on the mail. Make sure that you don't accidentally throw that card away. If you don't see your card within the first two to three weeks, call the Social Security Administration back and have them send you another one because um, they are actually pretty good about getting the cards out on time. So if you don't see it, it means it got lost somewhere in the mail stratosphere or it did accidentally get pitched. So number one, keep an eye out for that. Number two, you'll wanna think about how to fill in some of the holes or gaps that Medicare leaves in your coverage. You, you will have part A, you will have part B, that's not going to cover everything. Um, for example, it does not cover prescription drug coverage. So you'll need to think about that. You'll need to think about if you wanna add prescription drug coverage, which you probably do. You'll wanna think about if you want to um, supplement with a Medigap policy that will fill in a lot of the holes that your Part A and Part B are not gonna cover. Or if you wanna look at a Medicare Advantage plan that will um, substitute for all of original Medicare and include a prescription drug plan as well. If you do need additional help with that and you don't have somebody available to you currently, please reach out to me. I am happy to help. All of my services are 100% free and um, I am an independent broker and Medicare advisor. So I can look at what you have. Um, I can look at your doctors, I can look at your prescriptions, and we can figure out a plan that's gonna work best for you. If a, an Advantage plan is better or if a supplement is better, I can look at all of your information and, and give you some advice on that topic. And like I said, all of my services are free, so keep that in mind. Please subscribe below for weekly updates on how to use the Medicare that you have or how to choose the Medicare that you are going to enroll in moving forward. And um, I love to get your comments. I love to get your questions. I'm happy to answer all of those. All of my contact information is down below in the description as well. So I hope this was helpful and have a great day.